the portfolio page will display and filter all of the project posts. In order to do that, we will create an archive template for the posts because it serves as the parent for all posts and we'll make sure it's connected to the portfolio page. Soon you'll see exactly how. In the theme builder, click to add an archive template. Then close the library to build it from scratch. Add a section with one column. Then in widgets, drag in a heading widget. Add the title and align it to the center. Leave the style as is. And in the advanced tab, unlink the padding and add 50 pixels to the top and bottom. Next, we are going to use the portfolio widget to display our projects. So in widgets, search for and drag the portfolio widget under the heading. Then set the columns to two and posts per page to six. We'll also set the image size to full so it fits in nicely. Let's also adjust the item ratio a bit. Great. In the query dropdown, you can see that by default, the source is set to display posts. You can also select pages or manual selections of specific posts you would like to show. We will leave it as is because our projects are the posts we created earlier. Next, in the filter bar dropdown, we want to display the categories of our posts. Each category will represent the project type. It will come in handy if a visitor wants to select and view a certain type of project. Set the show option to on and select categories. Okay, time to style it. Set the columns and rows gap to 10. The default item overlay styling looks great, so let's leave it. Next, in the filter bar dropdown, we'll leave the color as is. Then set the active color to accent, and for the typography, choose accent text. Now let's increase the space between and spacing a bit. Great, that's all the styling it needs. Let's click publish, apply to all archives, and hit save and close. And before we preview this page, there is one more step. As mentioned before, it's time to connect this archive template with the portfolio page. So in the dashboard, go to settings, reading, and next to posts page, click and select the portfolio page. Then click save changes, and that's it. Let's navigate to the portfolio page and see how it looks. Awesome. Next up, you'll see how to build the About Me page using the saved homepage template. So continue watching.